I got to start with you, Charlemagne, because Mikai bills itself as an immersive AI company. What have you seen from your perch in traditional media and radio that gets you excited about offering your content on Meet Kai's virtual world? Well, for me, I felt like, uh, you know, it was the next level of what the... Uh Exp the interview experience will be like you know like right now somebody's watching this on television but imagine if you could actually be in the room you know as a part of a vr experience mm -hmm. as we're you know having this conversation or even you know with breakfast club we've been around for almost 15 years so when you think about the catalog of, of back interviews that people like whether it's the soldier boy or Birdman or whatever it is any of those conversations you can put yourself in the room of those conversations and I just feel like you know that's that's where social media is going to have that virtual reality experience of actually being next to the person that you're watching instead of just watching them right it's a whole new way of experiencing it so Peter John if this is the metaverse and that's kind of what Charlemagne was describing how is it similar to or different than what Mark Zuckerberg has been building out and frankly not making a lot of money on I think Meta and you know what Mark has been focusing on is the hardware aspect, which is extremely difficult. And what they've been able to accomplish since they've started is, is truly groundbreaking with Oculus. A Apple obviously stepped into the ring as well. And to Charlemagne's point, we've been really focusing on software and how that changes. Uh, when we met about a year ago, we talked about what the future of social entertainment is, and we believe this is one aspect. And using our immersive platform as well as our intelligence platform, the convergence of AI and these immersive experiences is what that future will be. I mean, I like what Charlie Moon was talking about with regards to maybe being kind of like the fly on the wall as he's doing these interviews and stuff here. But explain to me, like, how, as a user, yeah. how I would access. Do, am I going to need, like, a VR type of device, or is this something that can maybe be done just on a, a regular phone or a regular uh, computer screen? So, great question. Yeah. What's, what's great about our platform and, and what we've really focused on is mass user adoption. So, being able to be browser uh, in the browser, being device agnostic, so yeah. being on your phone, being on your computer, being on your tablet, being in a VR headset, working anywhere is what matters. Mm -hmm. So if you can bring the best in class experience with yeah. unbelievable visual fidelity and anywhere, it's going to get the most people there to experience what we're trying to build. Sure. So Charlemagne, though, is something like this, though, I mean, let's just use your show as an example. Is this like the kind of thing where like I would even be able as a user, maybe even ask a question or somehow interact with either you or your guests while you're doing the interview? Or is that not how it's going to work? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Because it's like, you know, when, when you see uh, the live streams that people have now, like Breakfast Club goes live now. Like yeah, we'll yeah. go live on YouTube or Instagram live and you're able to ask those same yeah. type of questions there. So it's the same thing. Okay. So this is your first foray into AI. I'm, I'm wondering what kind of audiences you think being accessible on Meet Kai will allow you to um, spread your brand or allow your brand to reach out to that you don't already through your syndicated radio show? Well, I think nowadays, you know, remember back in the day they would say if you build it, you know, they will come. Nowadays, you have to meet people where they are. Mm. So everybody's going to be in these spaces anyway, so we might as well meet them where they are now. And of course, part of um, the value proposition of someone like Charlemagne involved in Meet Kai is the kinds of creators and influencers that he can bring to your platform. Can you give me a better idea of what you're looking for from that end? Yeah, it, not only that and relationships, and we've talked a lot about that, but the wealth of knowledge that he has for being in this industry for decades. And his approach to what we're building is going to be instrumental as it relates to our success. So uh, we've talked a lot about you know, the people that he's interested in bringing to the platform, and I can let him speak to that. But we've worked with some really big names, right, from the NBPA to BYD. Mm -hmm. There's new worlds coming online that are focused solely on the consumer end, from the Detroit Pistons to the Pro Football Hall of Fame to Florida State, mixing AI and, and immersive for the future of education. And then we also have, as I talked about, that convergence is pure play AI that will power these uh, in immersive opportunities that Charlie was saying, being able to talk to someone regardless of they're human or not. Uh, one of those platforms that's really exciting that's built off of our AI is Ask AI, which goes live today. So built on Functionary and our family of models here at Mikai. So what are you looking to bring, uh, Charlemagne, like when you talk about the types of uh, additional guests and, uh, and just really the type of people that are going to be platformed on this? Everything, you know, yeah. from, from, from podcasts to, mm -hmm. uh, you know, comedy shows, you know, the, the yeah. live podcast aspect is something that really intrigues me because, you know, yeah. we all tune into our favorite podcast every week. Yeah. You know, I have a podcast network called the Black Effect Podcast yeah. Network, but imagine if instead of just, you know, watching it on yeah. YouTube, you can be a part yeah. Uh, like you said, a fly on the yeah. wall of the actual show every week. Yeah, and I'm all in on all these. Did you see the Call Your Daddy Girl got like $100 million? Oh, my God, $105 million. million. Are you ready to renegotiate your contract? <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, yeah. too, another yeah. good experience is, yeah. is the uh, the audiobooks. 
Oh, right? Yeah, because, yeah. you know, we all like to listen to audio books yeah. nowadays. But imagine if you could just sit there and, like, you know, sit at the feet of your favorite author. Yeah. As they're actually performing their audio book in front of you. I just think that makes the whole experience, you know, of listening to audio books better. I, I am curious how you and Peter John hooked up. Did you approach him because of the product or did he reach out to you because of your experience in media and all the business ventures that you had? Man, some things are just yeah. God. Like, I was in, uh, we was in Cannes. We were in Cannes. Cannes yeah. last year. And I was just sitting around at a, at a iHeart party and you yeah. know uh, and as like, one does yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. and him and James approached me and yeah. you know they told me about the AI thing and I was just having a conversation about these visions that I've been having about what I'm talking about now mm. and they were like we're already doing that so yeah. it was just kind of a, a, a natural collaboration how much AI do you dabble in right now not much. I, 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 it, it, Chat GPT is about as far as I've been going. And now, now Mika, yeah. And in terms of timeline here, John, what are we looking at um, before we start to see Charlemagne on uh, Meet Kai's various platforms? So I, I think very soon, what's special about our platform and, and what we've been able to build is how fast we come to market. Where traditionally, I think people approach building these experiences as video games. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that's the right way to do it. We focus on, you know, using AI at every turn to make these experiences faster and better in every way. And that allows us to kind of have development times that are days and weeks as opposed to months and years. So yeah. I think we've been talking about the vision of what's to come and I think you'll see some exciting things very soon. Just one final quick question, Charlemagne. Like when we talk about like sort of the future of these shows here, so it, do you see a vision where maybe these shows won't be just on radio or even on radio at all or even on TV that maybe they will end up on sort of a, a meet Kai type of platform oh, yeah. just they're, like that? They're, they're yeah. that way now. Like yeah. none, of the, none of these shows exist in one space anymore. Like yeah. I said, you know, you, you, you build it, people aren't just gonna come to you. Yeah, you yeah. literally have to meet people where they are. So you, for example, Breakfast Club, we're on the radio, but we'd also come out as a daily podcast every day. And we also put out clips on social media yeah. and we're on YouTube. So yeah. that's why we have the audience we have. You're talking about, you know, 8 million monthly listeners on terrestrial radio, but then 15 to 20 million downloads a, 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 a month on the podcast, then the YouTube, then the social media. So we're, you have to exist in all of these spaces nowadays. You can't, you take one piece of content yeah. and serve it up 20 different places. All right, and you got a lot of content. Have you talked to Bergman lately? No, no. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, we'll leave it there. Charlemagne the God and Peter John Alexander, Charlemagne investing here in Meet 